In today's video, we're going to be testing out the Blackbeard Fire Starter. Made in America. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, back with another video. If this is your first time clicking on one of our videos, I'd like to welcome you. I'd like to ask you to watch the video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down here and ring that notification bell so you'll get notified the next time we put out a video. Now, let's get into the video. So you've been hiking all day, it's time to make camp, and it starts to rain on you. It's, oh man, it's gonna rain. Okay, that's enough, that, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> or even worse, you're paddling along, getting to camp, and you hit some rough water, Oh man, and you fall out of the canoe. So you made it to camp. It, today, so far, it has rained on you pretty hard sometimes. You tump your canoe over, everything is soaking wet. All the tinder around you is wet. But you watch these videos on this Blackbeard fire starter and it shows actually lighting a fire on top of water so we're gonna see if this Blackbeard fire starter would get you out of this jam Okay, so I went ahead and brought this up here to the table because I don't want to sit around on the ground wet. So, but for our purposes, this is going to be fine. So you saw me soak this thing in water. What you're supposed to be able to do is cut a little chunk off of it. And I can actually see some water running out of it, it looks like. Well, it's a little bit dry inside, so let's see if we can't fix that problem. But what you're supposed to do is take it out and fluff it up like that. So we've seen them on the video strike this with a fire steel on top of some water and float the fire off. So. I'm gonna put me a piece of metal down here so I don't burn my table. Let's just take part of this that's dry and just see what happens. So let's get our fire steel. Well. We're getting some sparks in it. Now this piece is dry, so that fire steel is throwing some hot spark. I guess it found a dry spot, so it will light. I don't hold up very high hopes for it after it gets damp. Now, I wouldn't hold up too much hope for anything to like being wet, 
if they hadn't already shown this thing floating on water burning. That to me represents the idea that this will light when it's wet. So let's see. Now it looks like the water is running off of it, but this thing is fairly soaked. So I'm gonna fluff it up, and that's what they say to do. I don't hold out a lot of hope for this, but we're gonna give it the best shot. So I'm gonna pour the water off of this. Lock this back down. We're gonna give it, give it a few sh tries with the fire starter. If I can't get that to start it, I will actually try it with a lighter. I'm getting some glowing embers in there, surprisingly. Well, it didn't work with the striker. Let's see what happens with the light. So I don't hold out much hope for this with the Beck either. And to be fair, if this got soaked in the rain and in the river, this Beck wouldn't be working more than likely either. But let's give this thing a try and see what happens. Well, I'm pretty surprised, guys, that, uh, it took right off. Now, it didn't do it with the striker, but once I touched this big to it, it pretty well took off. So, I'm pretty surprised by that. Okay, guys. So, my final thoughts on this. Uh, the Blackbeard fire starter. Was this a fair test? Probably not. More than likely, if you're out hiking or even especially in your canoe, you're gonna have your fire kit in a dry bag or some way to keep it safe if it does rain. So this is really not a fair test. The reason I did it this way, um, for one, it was fun to do it this way and I didn't have anywhere to go today. Um, but for another thing, their video, their uh, promotion on this um, commercial shows them lighting it, setting it on fire, and floating it down the river. Um, so that kind of gives you the perception that this will light with a striker even if it's wet. That wasn't necessarily my experience. Um, damp, yes, it lit. Wet, no, I couldn't light it with a striker. But, as you've seen, as soon as I touched it with that big lighter, it took right off. Would this be my number one uh, go-to thing to have in my kit for a backup fire starter? Maybe not, but maybe. Uh, I mean, it really, I think it did work pretty good. Now, should you know how to build a fire without something like this? Absolutely. I'm not saying you shouldn't. But... If you want something in your pack that is a good backup fire tender to get your fire started, this might be a good way to go. Now, I prefer, ultimately above everything, a good piece of fat lighter. That's my preference. But this is actually a really good um, backup go-to fire tender, I think. Um, I know everybody's going to have their opinion, but... I was still pretty impressed with this thing after you saw I dumped that bottle of water on it and lit it with the Bic. I'm still pretty impressed by that. Now, this is made in America, made in the USA. I would like to go ahead and tell you something real quick. The folks over there 
at Blackbeard Fire Starters. They seem like really nice people. As soon as I ordered this thing, someone personally reached out to me and thanked me for ordering their product. That, to me, means a lot. So I reached back out to them and I said, I'm going to be shooting a video on this. Would you like to sponsor a uh, sponsor one of these for me to give away? And the lady came back, or the person, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say lady, I'm not sure. Uh, the person came back in another email and said that they would love to do that, but they're getting hammered right now on their shipping and stuff, so I fully understand that. But what they offered to do was fully refund mine so I could give the rest of it away. Now, I'm not going to take the refund. I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is the first person who comments below that they would like to have this and try it out, they're going to get the one that I tried, so it won't be a brand new one. It'll be the one that I tried, but you're going to get this one to try out for yourself. So don't forget to leave me a comment below. Um, and thanks to the Blackbeard uh, Fire Starter Company for being so gracious to offer to refund this. Um, that's American products for you. I feel like it, it just was a stand-up thing to do. So I really appreciate them. Um, if you guys like videos like this, Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down here if you haven't already. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. If you want to support the channel, in the comments below, there's a link to our Patreon and a PayPal. So if you want to support the channel in that way, that would be great also. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. Before I end this up, I would like to say a huge thank you to my wife who suffered through spraying me with a water hose and dumping a bucket of water on me. Now, I know she probably really didn't want to do that, but she did it anyway. And thanks for doing that for me, honey.